this new product from Fenty Beauty that I'm so excited to use. Like, oh my god. And you know, we got photos to take. We gotta look good. Sis, we gotta look good. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dana Alexia, and if you are new, then welcome. Today's video is going to be a get ready with me. Everything except for the hair. So I'm gonna be showing you guys this gorgeous makeup look that I did using some new products. And also, I'm gonna be showing you guys my outfit because it's popping. This is a look that I put together for New Year's Eve. But if you follow me on Instagram, then basically you know what happened because I was talking about it on my story. I didn't even end up going anywhere. Um, I'm actually going out tonight. You know, I made some new plans to make up for the disaster that happened on New Year's Eve so that I could finally wear this look out and take some bomb pictures for you guys. You know, I feel like everything just happens for a reason. So of course we know that in order to bring an entire look together, you need your hair done, you need your makeup done, you need your outfit popping, but you actually also need a fragrance, okay? I never used to really be into fragrances like that, like I used to just body spray, which is fine, but let me just tell you that it makes the biggest difference, you guys. It makes a difference in your confidence, it makes a difference in just how you feel, how you smell, of course. And also if you're going on a little date, trust me, that fragrance... It helps. It really does help. So, I actually want to share with you guys a really cool brand that specializes in fragrances, and that is Scentbird. Because honestly, starting a perfume collection can be pricey, considering that a lot of top designer brands, not even just designer, but a lot of really good quality or good smelling fragrances, usually cost a little bit under around $100, which of course is very expensive, and honestly a lot more depending on the brand and the fragrance, of course. So with Semper, they let you choose a new designer fragrance every single month for just $15. To be honest, I don't really have the best perfume collection. I did decide that, you know, like I want to step up my perfume game a little bit, you know, but without breaking pockets because, I mean, I want to smell good, but not at the cost of what a lot of these designer fragrances cost of course and with over 450 fragrances to choose from which is honestly you know that's quite a lot of uh, different fragrances you'll get a 30 day supply which is equivalent to about 120 to 140 sprays for me personally that would last me over 30 days because I don't wear perfume every single day especially if it's like an expensive perfume or it's like to me it's like exclusive and just expensive and Sunbird partners with all the top brands like Prada, Gucci and Tom Ford they also partner with a lot of indie labels as well if you're not really into like you know the designer or like being bougie there's nothing wrong with being bougie you know a lot of us are bougie including myself but obviously there's a lot of people out there that are just very simple you just want to smell good you don't care about the labels. So. so I want to share with you guys the three fragrances that I received this month. Your girl got her some Prada. This is Candy by Prada. I also got Davina by Vince Camuto. And I got Jason Wu. So I want to show you guys a little bag that they come in. It's a cute little black velvet bag. And I'm going to let you guys know which one is my favorite. So the Candy by Prada. Yo, this smells so good you guys like if I could get you guys to smell this through the camera I swear you would fall in love like it smells so good it's more of a warm and sweet fragrance it literally smells like a sweet expensive candy when I wear this I feel like a snack you guys I mean I'm a snack regardless but with this honey twice a snack my second favorite is the Divina by Vince Camuto it has a blend of grapefruit mimosa and musk so I think that's why it smells so good as well. I love mimosas, so. <laughs> and then the last one, Jason Wu. I'm going to keep it with you guys. It's not really my favorite. It doesn't smell terrible, but it's not my preferred type of smell. The Jason Wu one is described as, like, the smell of a floral bouquet. So it's very fresh, floral, and woody. I think that's why I don't like it as much. The woody smell kind of, like, throws me off a little bit. There's a lot of designer fragrances out there that smell so good, but you know, you gotta start small, of course, because like I said before, it's pricey. So if any of you guys are also looking into upgrading your designer fragrance collection, this is such a good deal. And also, I'll have the link down below in my description bar, and you guys can actually get 30% off your first month if you use my code DANA30. I'm actually about to go after I finish filming this video, and of course, you know, I need my fragrance, so I'm gonna use the product candy for tonight. You just twist it and it comes up the holes on the other side right there and you're just gonna spray. Mm, it smells so good you guys. 
Alright, so I'm gonna start off with filling in my brows, of course. But I'm gonna pin my hair out the way right here because it's bothering me. That's not even cute. Okay, hold on. Oh, you know what? I have these little um, prong clips I got from the beauty supply store. It's whatever. Anyways, so I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my brows. For my brows lately, I switched back to using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in chocolate. I'm kind of not over the pomade, but I just have been liking the way my brows have been looking with the pencil and stuff. So that's my brows are also going through a really um, hard time right now because, listen, I don't even know. Hair is growing down here. Um, some of my arch is still slowly growing back because um, the person I went to took off too much right here. So we're just gonna make it work. Also, so this side of my wig started lifting, like the wig cap and everything, but because, you know, it's side part, it's not that serious, and I'm not gonna apply any more glue, so it don't even matter, but, um, yeah, as long as you don't see it, I think we're fine. Alright, I finally got my brows a little bit more to my liking. I'm not gonna sit here and try to perfect them. Honestly, like, I've just accepted the fact that eyebrows are sisters, not twins. So, yeah, this one's always gonna be higher than this one until I don't know. Anyways, so I'm gonna use the Too Faced concealer and set that concealer with some setting powder. Alright, we're gonna move in to actually putting on eyeshadow. So for my transitions and crease shades, I'm gonna be using the Soft Glam Palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I chose to use this palette because it actually just has all the colors that I need for my transitions and my crease. So, and then for the lid color, I'm gonna be using a new product from Fenty Beauty, which I'm so excited to be using, you guys. These products are bomb, okay? Bomb. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and start off with orange soda. This shade I'm going to focus more on the outer crease. This shade is called Rustic. And I'm just going in with this 825 brush. I'm also going to start to apply some of that shadow onto the outer corners of my lid. I'm just going to go in with a clean blending brush. And blend out those edges. Ooh, I kind of missed a spot right here. Let's just get back in there. I'm going to go in with one more shade in the crease. And I'm going to grab Sienna from the same palette. This is like in earth tone, reddish brown. Kind of burgundy. Beautiful shade. I actually really love using the shade in the crease. Or just using the shade in general. Okay. Fallout everywhere. Okay, we're just gonna we're just gonna leave it until after. I'm gonna do the other side. And I'm gonna make sure to blend everything out. Of course I'm gonna go back in with a clean blending brush because I have to clean this up right here. It's looking a little crazy. Alright, so I'm just gonna grab some concealer and do a cut crease. I think that's good. I am gonna be smoking out. Ooh, what's this? <laughs> Alright, so now that I have done my cut crease, I'm gonna go in with this new product from Fenty Beauty that I'm so excited to use. Like, oh my god. So these are the Avalanche All Over Metallic Powder sets. They're literally like powder shimmers. This is the packaging. How cute is this? And then it opens like a closet. And then these are the metallic shimmers. I'll show you guys the colors on the back. 
So these are all the colors that the metallic powder shimmers come in. So I'm going to be using actually the one in the middle. I'm going to be using Cleopatra. This color is so, so, so pretty. It's like a shimmery um, olive silver green, which you guys know I don't really use that color a lot. So. Plus because, you know, I'm feeling a little festive, I wanted to do a color that I don't normally wear. So I'm going to go ahead and use that. So I actually accidentally spilt mine, so more than half of it, as you guys can see, it's only like half full. More than half of it spilled out, and I mean, I got all of it back into the container, I scraped it. The struggle was real, I was so sad. Um, so I only have like half left, but it's okay, because, um... Like, yeah, my heart broke a little bit. I'm not even gonna lie. But anyways, I'm gonna grab a flat eyeshadow brush to apply this. It's literally like a loose powder shimmer. So I'm gonna go ahead. Ooh. I think if I should wet my brush. Yeah, I'm gonna spray my brush with some spray. I'm just gonna use the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. Ooh. Why are you making that noise? All right, I think this is pretty good. So I'm gonna use Rustic and apply that to the outer crease. Fallout is just crazy right now, <laughs> but it's okay. I'm gonna go in with Sienna. I'm gonna go ahead and do some winged liner and um, it's not gonna be anything too thick or too crazy just like simple but like sharp okay all right I'm gonna go ahead and clean up that liner with some concealer and do our lashes finally I feel like I've been doing this eyeshadow forever so I'm gonna be using these lashes that I have been loving lately these are from RD Beauty which you guys know I use a lot um, these are new lash style these are called Berlin and honestly they are so freaking bomb if we can focus so bomb, you guys. So bomb. So I'm going to go ahead and obviously apply some mascara to prep these lashes. Definitely need to work on my eyeliner a little bit. Um, that's a goal for 2019. Ooh! The lash glue that I use is Duo. This one, let's see, it's kind of crusty right now. But it's actually about to be finished. So I want to know what your guys' favorite lash glue is, what do you guys use, what do you guys recommend, because I've just been using, I've just been using Duo for I think like two years now, but I kind of want to try a new lash glue. Alright, eye makeup is done, lashes are on, lashes are popping. You guys, look at these lashes, they are so bomb. These are like, like right now, my go-to lashes for when I need something dramatic. They're like just right, like they're long, they're fluffy, they're wispy, but they're not overly heavy because I actually hate lashes that are like overly thick and heavy. Um, you know, when you're looking for something dramatic, but they're just, they're just perfect. So anyways, we're gonna go ahead and get into the skin. Grab my primer. So the primer that I have been loving, I used this in my last video as well. I'm pretty sure. I've been using the Huda Beauty Complexion Perfection Pre Makeup Base, and this has really been. Ooh, I think just did the last pump. Yeah, it's done. Anyways, as long as I have enough to film this video, it's like it's just so freaking moisturizing. It's just amazing. 
because this is gonna be so hard. I don't wanna mess up my brows, and I don't wanna mess up my frontal. I should have put some like on my fingertip, <laughs> but it's okay. I think I actually might have an extra one. I think they sent me another one. Thank God. Oh, it's not done, it's not done. Okay, we're good. I'm gonna apply some to my chin and my nose. But honestly, I don't know, my skin has been switching up on me lately. So, uh, we need to have a talk. For my foundation, this combination right now is one of my favorites. You guys know I like to mix, but actually I want to go to Sephora tomorrow and pick up a new foundation because... I don't really need to be mixing anymore, it's just my thing, but I, I want to try a new foundation. I feel like I've been so used to the foundations I've been using, and I'm kind of like over it. You know, I need something new, and there's a lot of new foundations that I have not tried. Actually, in general, there's a lot of foundations I have not actually tried. So, when I go to support tomorrow, we're going to see what I pick up. Um, actually, if you guys have any recommendations or anything, you actually want to see me review, just let me know. Or what's a favorite foundation for you right now, especially if you have combination skin. My skin has been producing a lot more oil. I don't know why that is, to be honest. But even earlier today when I was doing my makeup, um, I had like little like oil spots on my nose. So I'm going to assume I have combination skin. I'm going to see what I'm going to pick up tomorrow. So anyways, but when I did this combination, you guys, like the finish, not just the finish, but like the complexion, finish when I used flash it was like I didn't even need like there was no flash not even just flashback like my skin just looked so glowy and warm and just I just looked so good like I was like wow like you know those ones where you take a picture with flash in the nighttime in the dark and when the flash was on in the photo like it just, it looked amazing. And I didn't even need, like, Photoshop or Facetune. Honestly. I mean, I still did a little one, too. But, the f like, I didn't need to. I was like, wow. Like, my, I was actually, like, so impressed. To highlight it, I'm going to use the Too Faced. Y'all know this. The Too Faced Multi Sculpting Concealer. I need to find a new favorite concealer. But, uh, right now, we're using this. So, <laughs> I'm going to highlight. Whoop. And then, of course, I'm going to do some cream contouring because you guys know that is my shit. So I'm going to be using the ABH Stick Foundation in Chestnut. I fluctuate between using Chestnut and Walnut. But honestly, Chestnut gives you like that perfect, subtle contour. You, don't, you can obviously even add in more if you want a little bit more dramatic. And it's nice and warm. It's like the perfect contour shade for me. So I'm like obsessed with this contour stick in this shade. I'm just blending out any creasing I have under the eyes and I'm gonna quickly go in with that Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose, sorry, <laughs> Easy Bake Loose Setting Powder in Blondie. And of course we know when we use cream, we set with powder. So to set my cream contour, I'm gonna go back in, or not go back in, but like I'm gonna use this again. I haven't used this in a little while so I'm going to use the NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette. This is the powder one and I'm going to use, ooh, email. we're going to use this shade right here. This is called Sculpt. That's interesting. So we're going to use Sculpt but it's this shade right here. I have a new brush from Morphe that I have actually really been liking so I'm going to use this. This is the E4 brush from Morphe. Mm. Yo, it's getting whoo, right in there. Okay, Morphe. I'm pretty new to their brushes, you guys. This is actually my first Morphe brush. So, um, yeah. We finally have a Morphe store over here. So, you know, I have to bring my ass over there and get some stuff. So, I'm going to go ahead and carve out those cheekbones. Alright, so while I have the setting powder on, I'm going to go back to the under eyes. Just to smoke it out a little bit. So I'm going to take 
the same two shades I was using in my crease. So I'm going to go in with Rustic first. And then I'm going to go in with Sienna. Oh. I did get some fallout. So, shit. Yeah, I did a lot. Alright, I'm gonna go in with some setting. No, no, I'm gonna bronze first, actually. I'm gonna go in with the Benefit Hula Bronzer. This bronzer is bomb. Bronzing is honestly like my favorite. It just adds so much warmth to the skin. It just makes you just, it's just like, it's everything. <laughs> it's honestly everything. Of course, you guys, I don't really contour my forehead when I'm wearing a frontal because I already have a small forehead. So I just like to add a little bit of bronzer just to even out everything because, um, I mean, if I have bronzer everywhere else and then my forehead's just bland, it kind of throws me off a bit. So I just add a little bit of bronzer around the edges of my forehead. Okay, so we're going to go in with one of my newest favorite products. This is the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. I don't know what I was doing before using this. Well, obviously I was using another setting spray, but yo, this setting spray is bomb, and I mean, I've seen a lot of people rave about it for a while. And uh, finally, you know, when I went into Morphe, I was like, I gotta try this. I'm just so here for how my skin's looking right now. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to highlighting. So for my highlight, I'm gonna be using another new product, and this is the Fairy Balm Shimmer Powder from Fenty Beauty, and this is in the shade Kappa Chill. I've been seeing these everywhere. I'm so happy that I was able to get some in the mail. Thank you, Fenty. <laughs> like, honestly, thank you. Forever grateful. Actually, I'm not gonna use, Kappa Chill is so, let me just swatch it. I could show you guys. This one's a little bit more warm though. Whew. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is, you guys. I'm gonna go in with 24K Ray. As you guys can see, it's a much lighter gold. Let me just put a little bit on my hand. Oh, that's a lot. Thank God I didn't spill it, but um, <laughs> yeah, this is perfect. Perfect. All right, so I'm gonna use 24K Ray. Wow. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. Wow. I'm actually gonna add some to my brow bone as well, you know, cause you know, why not? At least, you know, if I'm taking pictures, my brow bone will be lit too, so. So you guys know, of course, I like to do inner corner highlights, especially a glam, dramatic look. We have to. So I'm going to take 24K Ray and apply that to my inner corners as well. Oh, yes. I'm going to try to go in with some eyeliner, but my eyeliner is actually done. And I don't have another one, so... So actually, you know what? I'm gonna take a little brush. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna improvise. Take a little brush and run this across, across my waterline. And then to finish off the eye look, I'm just gonna go in with some mascara. I'm also gonna do some blush, but I'm gonna actually leave that for last. I don't know why. I feel like doing my blush last for some reason. I'm gonna add a little bit of that Fenty Shimmer powder in 24k ray to right here mm. I'm getting a little excited hold on one last um thingy. all right I'm gonna go ahead and finally do my lips I'm gonna take the Mac cork lip liner I need to like find a new lip liner well, I mean, I also believe in, like, if it's not broken, don't fix it. But, I mean, I would love to try some new lip liners, like, even from a different brand. 
Lately, I have been loving this lip combo for a nude or like a pinky nude. So I'm going to go in with the ABH Liquid Lipstick in Stripped. And then I'm going to go on top of that with the MAC Lipstick. This is in collab with Nicki Minaj. And this is in the shade A Girl's Got Needs. You know, we do. <laughs> If you are going for a matte or like a creamy matte look, this is not like super dry matte. I will say so if you've ever tried any of the Anastasia Beverly Hills matte lipsticks or liquid lipsticks, you know that they are matte AF. Like putting the MAC on top, this formula for the MAC lipstick is a lot creamier. So you can leave it just like this, but you guys know I love my gloss and for a poppin' shimmery cut crease, something like this. The gloss is just, it's gonna, it's just gonna take it to that next level. So this is the new Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb in Fussy. I used this in my last video, I'm pretty sure. Or my la one of my last tutorials. And I'm gonna go ahead and play that. Mmm. Smells so good. I'm gonna go ahead and rose up these cheeks. I'm going with the ABH Blush Trio in Peachy Love. And I'm gonna use Nectarine for my blush. Yes, skin. I'm so in love with my makeup right now. Alright you guys, face is officially done, so I'm going to go ahead and set my face again with the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. Just to lock everything in, you know, it's going to be a long night. <laughs> and, you know, we got photos to take. We got to look good, sis. We got to look good. And this is just the same wig that I have been wearing from Wild African, for those that are wondering, that I showed you guys in my last video with the pink makeup look, the pink robe, all that stuff. Yeah, so as you guys can see, my hair is already curled. It is a little dry, so I'm just going to like refresh it and stuff, and then we're going to just get into my outfit and show you guys what I'm wearing for the night. Alrighty, you guys, we are in the closet. Here is my outfit for the night. I'm so obsessed with this dress. I got this from Mendocino, which is a Canadian boutique. I know that JLux label actually has dresses very similar, if not identical, to this dress right here. I'm not sure if they still have the cream, but I know they have a navy blue, a rust orange, they have like a light baby pink. So I'm just going to list them down below as well. And then my clutch is from Le Chateau. It's just a simple leather clutch. It was like $20. And then my heels. These are actually my favorite heels ever okay these are from aquazura which is a designer brand so they were a pretty penny but you know your girl likes sales so i got them for like 70 percent off and they were the last ones in the last size as well so you know they were just meant to be had to grab them oh, sorry guys i'm actually a little bloated right now it's about to be the time of the month so you guys know but um i wish that they had this in an extra small this is a size small and as you guys know i'm very petite when i first bought the dress it wasn't this big but of course you know when you wear certain dresses with certain materials like i told you guys i wore this on new year's and didn't go out so i kind of stretched it out a little bit but obviously once i wash it it'll snap back and this is what it looks like this is what the back looks like as you guys can see the bottom half of the dress now is kind of stretched out if you guys want to see a better close-up of this dress just head over to my instagram because i posted a picture wearing it as well so yeah <laughs> don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy watching it also don't forget to subscribe to my channel we're trying to get to 200k and yeah so i'll see you guys in my next video peace i don't really know how to end up my videos i need an outro you guys i'm working on it but in the meantime peace